Shin Yon Kansha Meditation, Shizen Ha Biohacking. That is something I'm going to talk about today, so stick around. Hi, my name is Hachiaki Takamiya. I am the author of the Ikigai Diet and the founder of this diet. All right, so today I'd like to share with you a concept called Shin Yon Kansha. All right, so there are four elements to support health and longevity, and these are diet, exercises, living environment, and mentality. Today, I'd like to talk about mentality. Now, you know, centenarians, they are known for having a stress-free lifestyle. Number one, they always know how to shed stress. They, they have a kind of a, a way to shed stress in their everyday life, such as giving a prayer or meditation. But generally speaking, they don't have stress in the first place. They tend to have a positive mindset that they don't feel stressed. Okay, so having a positive mindset is crucial for your longevity. And Shion Kansha can help you have such mentality. Okay, so in Japan, we have a Shinto shrine and there are shrines everywhere and many people visit shrines regularly, especially on the New Year's Day. We all go to the Shinto shrine nearby and give prayers. But what we normally do is to ask for graces. Yeah, uh, we say things like, uh, please protect the health of my family this year, or uh, please uh, help my financial, financial fortune and so on. You usually ask gods to give you some favors. However, that is not the authentic way of giving a prayer at a Shinto shrine. Most people don't know it, but some Shizenha people uh, because they tend to be spiritual people too, and they know this secret way of praying, and that is called Shin On Kansha. Yeah, this is called Shin On Kansha. Now, so Shin On Kansha are four Chinese characters. Yeah, this is pronounced as Shin On Kansha. Now, she means gods, and om means favors, and kansha means appreciation. So, shin on kansha means to appreciate favors gods have given to you. Now, that is a completely different from asking for favors. And this puts you into a completely different mindset. So when you ask for graces, yeah, you feel lack of happiness. Because you're not happy, because you're not satisfied, you ask for more happiness. But if you thank for graces, you already have graces, yeah? Therefore, you feel happier, yeah? And that helps you pay attention to the bright side of your life, yeah, okay? now. So how to practice Shinyon Kansha meditation? It's very simple. Think of something you feel grateful for happening in your life. For example, in my case, I live in the countryside and I get to go Nordic walking every morning. So I say, you know, I really appreciate that I live in the countryside and I get to go Nordic walking every morning. Or I have a small garden where I can practice natural gardening. By the way, I made a video the other day about it. And um, so I appreciate the fact that I have that little garden uh, to practice natural gardening. Yeah, so something small and simple is okay. Yeah, of course, there are things that I don't feel grateful for happening in my life too, but I don't have to pay attention to them. I can just pay attention to positive aspects of my life. Yeah, for well, Shion Kansha meditation, you can uh, do it uh, anytime. I usually do that when I go Nordic walk, when I go Nordic walking in the morning, and sometime when I go mountain climbing. The other day, I made a video about mountain climbing. It's called Mountain Climbing 
Japanese biohacking. So on top of the mountain, I did Shin On Kansha, and it's a wonderful place to do Shin On Kansha meditation there because you are on the elevated ground. Yes. All right. Thank you for watching today's video. Again, my name is Sachiya Kitakamiya, the author of the Ikigai Diet. If you want to know the optimal way of activating autophagy and, and the optimal way of feeding your diverse gut microbiomes, please read the book. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video.